Hi cuties. So today I wanted to talk about loneliness a little bit. Just, you know, offer some comfort and a little bit of advice, but mostly just ramble. Not as a role play or acting out anything, but just talking as me <laughs> and talking about my experiences and thoughts a little bit and trying to relay that in ways that <laughs> can help you guys as much as possible. Because right now is really a time of loneliness for a lot of people. With the pandemic going on, we're just not having as many in-person social interactions. Like, we just don't see people as much anymore. All the for fun stuff is closed down. All the sports and bowling and laser tag and restaurants. <laughs> the stuff where we would just hang out with people and chat is closed down. And all like the businessy stuff where <laughs> we don't really have time to talk with people is open, but that's not as enriching. And of course, we can have as many online interactions as we want, but those aren't always the same. So, um, Everyone has been lonely at some point in time, even the most popular of popular people, <laughs> I'm sure, experience loneliness all the time. And it sucks, it hurts, it darkens everything, it makes everything harder, and it, I, it affects our self-confidence and our mood and everything. Loneliness sucks. Um... <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> loneliness sucks. But for me, loneliness happens usually after a social interaction occurs and I have some period of self-reflection. And for me, it's often tied to social anxiety of some sort. I often devalue what just happened, devalue my relationship with somebody. I'm often critical of the things I say or the things I do, and I feel like I'm not as close to that person, or I didn't enjoy myself as much as I really did, and I kind of like devalue my own relationship or the enjoyment I had of my time with that person, and that kind of makes me feel lonely because it makes me feel like I can't really be that close with people because I mess it up or something like that. And because that's how loneliness happens with me, that's kind of how I think of loneliness. It's kind of like a devaluing of your relationship with other people. It's, you know, talking with someone on the street and instead of walking away with a smile or some sense of gratification, it's saying, oh, I don't have any friends or <laughs> I messed up or I suck at this. You know, it's not <laughs> taking the little things, even just ordering coffee or something and feeling some sort of satisfaction about being around people. It's devaluing all those relationships and making you feel like you can't connect to people, whether it's true or not. Um, so yeah, that's how I kind of view loneliness. And that's kind of the lens I'm going to talk about loneliness in. If, uh, I don't know, if you, if you see loneliness in another way and you want to tell me about it? I'm I'm really curious in all the ways that people interpret these feelings and people understand themselves and just leave a comment below and I'd like to hear it. I'd like to learn more about it. So yeah, loneliness to me is like having these interactions with people, with family and friends and just psyching yourself out, telling yourself you're not getting enough out of it. And that's not to say that I'm lonely most of the time. 
most of the time I'm really happy when I'm around people and I feel fulfilled and I feel like I'm having a good time. But sometimes either if I'm not getting as much social interaction or I'm just jaded about something, it just doesn't feel sufficient or fulfilling, <laughs> you know? And mm, I know a lot of people are probably a lot more lonely than me and I can't really empathize as well with you, but I'm gonna try because we've all been lonely and we all know what it's like, even if we don't all know what it's like to have it happen all the time. Mm. So for those of you that are lonely all the time, who have trouble making friends or forming any positive relationship with family members, who feel like they only have one or two good friends or maybe not even that, for those who have a lot of trouble talking with people or connecting with people who stay silent most of the time and just don't feel like they can connect with people. I'm, um, going to try to offer some comfort because <laughs> we're all a little bit lonely and we're all looking for that connection and no matter how bad you think you are at social interaction or connecting with people, there are people that <laughs> admire that nervousness, that shyness. I know that from a personal perspective that <laughs> no matter how awkward I am, no matter how shy I am, no matter how much I um and stutter and stumble over words, and no matter how bad of a job I think I'm doing interacting with someone, there's a lot of people that appreciate that, that seeing someone else nervous makes them more comfortable because it puts them less on the spot, you know? <laughs> so, um, I don't know. <laughs> Try keeping your chin up and just looking for that positive spin, you know? <laughs> Try looking at it like, oh my god, instead of I'm stuttering and sweating so much, I must be making such a fool of myself. Say, oh, well, maybe they think that's cute. <laughs> maybe that make, puts them more at ease that I'm stumbling around so much. Um, maybe instead of saying, oh, I really botched that, I really messed that up, just uh, focus on them smiling or <laughs> focus on something nice they said or just anything that went well at all. And just because for me it's all about that perspective it's all about what happens after that interaction with somebody after spending time with your friends after having a Skype call with your parents or your sister or your brother or whatever it's all about how you interpret what happened it's all about saying <laughs> all about thinking you had a good time thinking you're close and just that <laughs> Positive thinking enriches the relationship a lot more than simply just having more interactions can be. Because loneliness isn't about how many friends you have. Loneliness isn't about how much time you spend with people. Loneliness is all about the quality of the time you spend with them. And if you're around people 24-7, you can still be insanely lonely when you go to bed at night. Because if you're not feeling like you can be you around them, or you're not feeling like you're having a quality time with them, then it's even more lonely than just being alone. Because then it feels like even when you're with people, you're alone. So what can you possibly do to not be lonely? Oh, I hope I'm making some sense. I know I'm just rambling. <laughs> and I'm not the best rambler. Some people can ramble and <laughs> come around and make their point <laughs> and have a good conclusion, but I'm not really good at rambling. I just want to say for those people that feel really lonely that mm, people like having them around because they're not the only lonely ones. 
everybody wants to have a positive experience with those around them. And if you have a positive experience, then it's a lot more likely that the person you're spending time with is also having a positive experience. Even if you're just faking it. <laughs> mm, I know faking it can make it seem worse, but... Sometimes you just have to fake it a little bit for the first few steps. Um, yeah, so, um, look on the bright side. <laughs> no matter how awkward or stumbly or nervous you're being, a lot of people find that charming. <laughs> Take it from me, the master of nervous stumbling. <laughs> um, and, uh, don't write yourself off right away. Don't be like, oh, I tripped. No one's ever going to want to talk to me. No one's ever going to want to be friends with me. I must look so stupid right now. Don't <laughs> just sell, your sh sell yourself short. <laughs> mm. And uh, I don't know what you guys are doing in these times of loneliness. Maybe a lot of you are introverted and... Uh, don't really need that much time with other people and the pandemic isn't really changing much for you or maybe some of you are extroverted and have found a home in having discord calls or skype calls with people and interacting with people and that's fine um but my guess is that a lot of people are having moments of loneliness where they're just bored and wishing they were with people and looking for things to make them feel less alone, whether that be podcasts or listening to audios to feel like someone's talking to you, <laughs> or, um, I don't know, <laughs> distracting yourself. I don't know. Everyone's got to find their own way to not feel lonely, but if there's one takeaway you could take away <laughs> from my rambles is that loneliness is more about the quality of interactions than it is about having more interactions. And even if you're barely talking to anyone, if you only see your friend once a week, just make sure you're having a good time. And then whenever you're lonely, you just think back to when you had a really good time with your friend. You just think about all the fun things you do and how excited you are to do it again. And I guarantee you're not going to feel that lonely. So don't worry if you're not hanging out with someone every day. Don't worry if <laughs> you lose your voice because you don't use it anymore. <laughs> because there's no one to talk to. Just go all out on something. Even if it's just some stupid conversation with some random person on the street, or even if you're just ordering a donut and <laughs> you have like a quick little one-liner and you laugh with the cashier, just focus on something. Find something with somebody that you can be happy about, that you can smile about, that you can have a fond and nostalgic memory of, and just focus on it whenever you're feeling lonely, because it's not about having a million interactions. It's just about having good ones. Um, yeah. Wow. I can't believe I rambled for so long. <laughs> I hope some of you guys got something out of that. <laughs> uh, I don't really know how to do these rambly audios. <laughs> when I'm doing a role play or doing some acting thing and I don't know what to say. I can always put in some kissing or <laughs> or some hugging noises or some ruffly noises. I <laughs> and that gives me time to think. But when I have to talk and the only thing I'm doing is talking, then I just have to say something even if it doesn't make sense right away to get my bearings. So uh, if any of you guys have made it through this whole thing, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> You're amazing. And, uh, yeah. The next one I make is gonna be more polished and less rambly, so <laughs> if you don't like the style of rambles, then 
you don't have to worry because not all my stuff is going to be like this. And, um, yeah, thank you for listening, all you adorable people. <laughs> and remember, don't <laughs> sell yourself short. A lot of people are going to admire the things you think are complete failures. <laughs> they really are. I went my whole, through my whole life, or my whole early life, my whole high school, middle school stuff, thinking my awkwardness and my nervousness was the most ab abhorrent, abhorrent thing ever, and that no one would ever want to hang out with me or talk to me, and I just should just stick to my small friend group and not bother trying to meet any f new friends because I was too awkward and weird, but... As I got older, I realized that a lot of people found that charming. And that all the things I thought were weird and gross in my early age weren't really things that most people found weird or gross. And a lot of people even found charming. So, uh, yeah, don't let your opinion be the only opinion you have about selling yourself short. And, uh, yeah, I will stop rambling now because... <laughs> I made it sound like I was ending the audio, and <laughs> I don't want to debate you guys too hard. <laughs> so, bye guys. I hope you have an awesome day, and uh, focus on something good. <laughs> bye guys.